Hey guys, what's up? It is Austin Cloud, the Coast Cloud, today back with a series that I think you guys are actually going to like. I call this Roller Coasters from Exotic Lands. And basically, we're, we're going to be counting down the top 10 roller coasters from select countries or continents if there's not enough coasters in that country to make a top 10 list. Or enough good coasters in a country to make a top 10 list. Starting off with... Da -da -da -da, Africa! Top 10 roller coasters in Africa. We're going to start off at number 10, which is pretty horribly named roller coaster uh this ride just looks absolutely just bad uh, i wasn't really expecting much for the number 10 in africa but it just looks like crap really i mean there's nothing else for me to really say it just looks like garbage number nine is grand huit i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but this has a really really small sidewinder and it's apparently very whippy and very intense a lot of people call this ride the neck breaker because it's super whippy and that's why it's number nine, you know, it's, it's probably super intense, which is awesome, but I don't want to get my neck broken. And right above that, we have Wildewind, which is actually the same ride. This is a clone of that, and they're both the exact same thing. So exact same ride experience, don't expect anything different at all from either of these coasters. Number seven is a boomerang, and Vacoma boomerangs are not very amazing. We have a lot here in the United States. This is number seven on the list for best coast top 10 coasters in africa um i mean it's a vacoma boomerang i don't know if it's a good one or a bad one probably a bad one but it's a boomerang i can't really say much about boomerang number six is golden loop this is actually a gold reef city and it is a schwarzkopf shuttle loop roller coaster one of the old weight drop ones and i mean these rides are really really awesome the, even the new uh flywheel powered uh even the new flywheel powered shuttle loops are pretty cool too. Like Montezuma's Revenge is a lot of fun. But coming in at number five is Gwazi. No, not the closed one at Tampa, stupid. We're talking about the Schwarzkopf Looper um, in Africa. And I mean, it's a Schwarzkopf Looper. I'm imagining it's pretty good, pretty forceful. Uh, the loop on actually looks pretty dope. But other than that, it's a basic Schwarzkopf Looper. It looks the same as Silver Bullet from Frontier City, Oklahoma. So, going off that, it looks a good ride, you know, something I'd love, something I'd definitely love to do. Number four, this is Tower of Terror. Now, this is not the drop tower, okay? This is not the drop tower of the Disney parks. This is not it. This is actually a weird, weird looking roller coaster. It reminds me a lot of a dive coaster, just without the brakes. And the drop's weird, and... Apparently, it's super, super forceful, 6.2 Gs with a 90 degree drop, 150 feet in the air, and this ride is basically just a drop. That being said though, 6.2 uh, Gs of force on your body is nuts. I haven't even experienced that, and I've ridden 80 coasters, I know it's not a lot, but I've ridden 80 coasters, and none of those have a G force that's over 6.2, or even at 6.2. I don't even think I've ridden a coaster that touches 6.2. Or even come so close to that. Also, the drop, you probably get a lot of crazy airtime, and you're dropping into a tunnel, which is pretty cool. And the entire thing is built on a mine shaft, which is pretty, pretty awesome, if you ask me. Number three is Looping Star. This is just... It looks cool. That's, that's the best thing I can say about it. It looks cool. It's a fun-looking ride. I think, overall, it's going to be better than Tower of Terror and all these other rides, just because it looks... It looks super forceful. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to number two, which is Serpent. I was actually very surprised to find a Gerstlauer in Africa. But we found one. It looks really awesome. Very fun ride. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's fun. I'm just saying that it's a Gerstlauer. It looks pretty fun. And that's number two in Africa. Pretty cool looking ride. Just kind of your basic, like... Um, it, lo it looks like a Hydra or Adrenaline Peak uh, clone. Or actually, it might even be a SpongeBob Rock Bottom Plunge clone, actually, if I remember correctly. But either way, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong about that. And number one, I think everyone should have seen this coming. The best roller coaster in all of Africa. Let's take that in for a second. Best roller coaster in all of Africa is Anaconda at Gold Reef City, the Gaia Vanola Invert. This ride just looks absolutely awesome. Um, I've ridden some good inverts. I've ridden Silver Bullet, Batman the Ride, and Flight Deck of California's Great America. 
And there's something about this ride. It looks like Batman the Ride and Flight Deck at Great America had a baby, and this looks way better than both of them. Uh, very, very forceful from what I've heard. Really good drop, really good elements. And also, the trains are actually able to move, uh, have tighter maneuvers, because there's only two people per car, which is amazing. Uh, cuts down capacity, but are you really expecting a lot of crowds at an amusement park in Africa? Personally, I'm not, but whatever. Looks like an amazing ride. The color scheme has changed a couple times. I do like the older color scheme, to be completely honest. I also love the rock work they have around the ride. And the elements just look absolutely sick as well. Like, if you watch the POV of this thing, it looks amazing. And you can see why it is my number one roller coaster that I've chosen in Africa. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, follow, watch other videos, leave comments and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. I think the next one I'm going to do for this is top 10 roller coasters in South America. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.